crying, all what? the whining by the books. <laughs> they came and just cleared off the entire table yesterday, last night. Put on the other camo hat that makes it a little bit hard to see because people are looking for the bookies right now. Bookies, everybody wants. Everybody. Why don't people do that more in the space? Like, why don't they? Like, does everybody just... I mean, everybody's just flying close to the sun, the leagues, every the advertising's in everybody's face. Is it a rush to be first or to, you know, put your picks out on TikTok or what's, what the hell's going on? I feel like, do you feel like you have a responsibility in the position you're in right now? hundred percent. I mean, the due diligence that had to be done uh, for the Otani story, right? Uh, you guys would not believe the links that they went to and the barriers that they had to overcome the legal approval that they had to get i mean this that's big time journalism big time journalism that they had to go through you know so uh, yeah i mean atani makes 60 million a year yeah of endorsements okay atani's a uh, million dollars to atani right now is probably like a hundred bucks to most people it's not that's a it. big deal it's like whatever so you go to him and be like i'm in real trouble this guy's gonna kill me like i i, I owe him 10 million dollars he's he's gonna throw me off a cliff I, I have to, and Tony's like, you're my good friend. I roll with you. All right, man, I'm going to give you this money, but one day you're going to pay it me. You're going to pay me back. One day you're going to get the money back. Give me on a payment plan or whatever it might be, but you're going to pay me this money back. It's a loan. The, the other parallel is TJ Otzerberger who came here to UNLV knowing he wanted the Iowa state job and he couldn't get the Iowa state job because one, it wasn't open yet. And two, the AD had said, you need to go to South Dakota state, get it, get more experience. He went up there. He was waiting for Iowa State. Jamie Pollard wouldn't hire him. So he came here to UNLV, stayed for two years. The Iowa State job opened, and he went back immediately. Any concern that Fran McCaffrey at Iowa, everybody in Iowa thought that was the job that he was going to leave Drake for, not West Virginia, but Iowa. Any concerns about watching what's happening in Iowa City and, and how long Fran McCaffrey will be there? Yeah, quite frankly, the Iowa City watching, not me as somebody who grew up a Hawkeye fan, I always watch Iowa City, but that – I, I was rooting for Iowa to go deep in the NIT. Like, don't do anything <laughs> weird. Don't lose. Don't, don't, Fran, I don't want you to leave. Iowa, don't fire Fran. Just leave Fran right where he is. He's fine. You're winning enough games. Don't look what we're doing over here in West Virginia. Just keep moving ahead, Iowa. You're doing just great. Keep Fran right in place. In this country, I feel like there's so many people who, if we sat down in a room and had a, had a conversation about stuff, we have so much common ground until we get out into the public space and all of a sudden, we're just blowharding and saying things are totally about clicks and eyeballs and getting attention and not being just logical about it. Just be logical about it and not have to roll everything back to have, oh, you give me a little? Great, I'm taking everything. Holy and shit. That's it's A-Rod on 60 Minutes. <laughs> like, well, I've seen this story in baseball oh. way too many oh, times. Jeez. Where these guys sit there and look at the camera and just straight up lie. Man, and oh, everyone's man. like, there's oh, no way. Why would he do that? He can't sit there and lie. He would never lie on TV, right? You never say that outright. Oh, Anybody asking questions? Well, no. Anybody actually like having him explain the timeline? Well, no, it's, it's, we're taking it for face value. You know, it's, it's right. Otani. He's going to tell you the truth and you're going to trust him. Okay. One, the, the college sports prop betting market is, wouldn't even set off a blip on a radar screen if it went yeah. away and never happened again tomorrow. Which is why I think you should kill it. Ever. Yeah, kill it. Because it, it, if it doesn't make a difference to the bottom line and all it is, all it is, is headaches and, and causes problems, kill it.